My name is Dave, I'm a maker, and I wanted to find a sewing machine that can help me make bags, hats, clothes, upholstery, cosplay, leather, basically anything I may want to sew as I grow. So that meant looking for a sewing machine that can handle thick materials. Another requirement was I needed the machine to be portable and pack away when not in use. So with a ton of research and suggestions from my other maker friends, I introduced to you the Sailrite Ultrafeed LSZ. Currently, the sewing machine costs $1,200, certainly not cheap, and a purchase you make on a whim, but I, I am in the mind of buy once, cry once. Sure, there are older machines out there you can find that might sew just as well and are cheaper used, but I'll get into why I went with a new machine, and specifically from Sailrite. The machine comes with a walking foot that is ideal for working with heavy materials like canvas, denim, and upholstery. This particular machine has the ability to do straight and zigzag stitching up to 5 millimeters in width and 6 millimeters in length. You can adjust all these settings with simple mechanical levers, making it very beginner friendly and simple to understand. There is a powerful quarter horsepower motor that can handle thick fabrics and heavy duty threads up to TEX 92 and handle needle ranges from number 10 to 22. The machine sits on the bottom portion of the case you would use to move and store the machine. There is storage underneath and to the side. The Ultrafeed is extremely durable as it's an all-metal design, easily serviceable with parts available from Sailrite. I was concerned with purchasing a second-hand older machine that might need repair, sourcing parts, troubleshooting, and finding old repair manuals or guides. That's where Sailrite makes the machine user-friendly with clear instructions, customer support, and online tutorials. Under Learning, you'll find hundreds of videos on how to sew, follow along projects and kits you can purchase. The videos are all free for anyone to watch and learn with any sewing machine you may have. This was a big selling point for me and something I wanted to support. Sailrite also provides a maintenance book that is very well documented on how to troubleshoot and take care of the machine. Here are some interesting bits to point out. There are various feet that can be purchased like zipper feet, smooth or knurled foot to not mar certain types of materials like leather. While the machine isn't considered an industrial sewing machine, it does have these mounting points that you see on an industrial machine for accessories like this binding jig. Since this machine is all metal, lots of magnetic guide jigs all work on the machine. I also sprang for the speed reduction wheel which upgrades the smaller plastic wheel for this more robust metal one. As the name suggests, the wheel slows the stitching way down to half a stitch per second. As a beginner, being able to slow way down gives you confidence and time to react and sew straighter lines. Another bonus with the wheel is that you can attach a handle to it and hand sew without needing power. Here are some drawbacks I have found with the machine. The price. It's an investment for sure and something I had to put off getting till I had the funds to afford it. Understandably, this machine is out of the price range for a lot of people, especially for a first sewing machine. There are other heavy duty machines out there for a fraction of the cost. They may not be all metal design and don't have a walking foot, but it may be adequate for the majority of your needs. I know that I'll be tackling bigger projects and in the long run, this would be cheaper than have to buy something like this down the road. Next is the portability. While this is portable, the machine weighs in at 55 pounds. This does not include the heavy duty wheel or any other accessories and tools, things I have stored in the case. So while you can move it, I wouldn't want to put this thing up on a high shelf or move it up and down some stairs regularly. Sailrite does offer a table system for this machine if you choose to find a home for it. Since owning this machine, I have been making some storage bags and practicing making zippers, as well as a more ambitious project with making a messenger bag. I'll be making a more complex version of the same bag soon. If you'd like to see that video, consider following. I wanted to end the video on something fun. I recently was watching one of my making heroes, Adam Savage on Tested, and he had an Ultrafeed LSC in his workshop as well. So totally cool to see that out there.